The clarion call to develop southeast part of the Niger is a right turn towards the right direction. You're welcome to Njenji Media TV. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Do remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the bell icon for notification. I am John Paul Annie. Biafra is a state of being. Yes, Biafra is a state of being. Until we have achieved that state of being, the desired geopolitical region remains at risk. So, we must pursue both tasks together. And the state of being is as follows. We have to do as the Catalonians do in Spain. When they realized that the Castilianos, that is the Madrid, will never voluntarily or easily give them independence. What did they do? The Catalonians decided to turn inwards and develop the region technologically, economically, and infrastructurally. And now, they are the economic powerhouse of Spain. The same thing is with Bayern in Germany. When Germany was declaring itself as a nation, Bayern, that's the Bavaria, had the choice to stay out and be a country on its own, like the Austria did. Instead, it opted to stay within a greater Germany and become its best part. Today, Bavaria is the most technologically and economically powerful region in Germany. And it has the whole of Germany now as its primary and biggest market. The same thing is with California in the United States. It is not only the biggest economy within the US, it's also the sixth largest economy in the world. However, this is only because it is within the US and can leverage on all the synergies that come with that, that it can be so powerful. If it were suddenly to try to break away overnight, to stand alone as a competitor against the rest of US, things would not be so easy. Nigeria does not fear IPOB as it is. In fact, they want IPOB to challenge them so they can militarily wage war on the Igbos. IPOB at present is not the Biafra that Nigeria fears. That's the simple truth. They fear the Biafra that becomes like Catalonia, like Bavaria, like California. That's the Biafra they fear. So they need this militant IPOB to give them an excuse and turn back the hands of our clock once more to zero like they did in the last civil war. Oh, even if we don't want and don't start any hostilities, they will use the slightest excuse or provocation or even accident to send in their troops. Britain will support them and in the end, US will establish a military base in Ibu land to keep the peace. And that is how we will become occupied territory. We have to be smart and sh we have to be smart and shift the battle to the field where we can win. What am I saying? What I'm saying is this: Yes, we will continue to ask for referendum, like Catalonia does in Spain, like Scotland does in Great Britain, but. It is not referendum that will give us Biafra we need. And of course, it is not guns that will give us Biafra either. That we know. As Ibus, we have to conquer our chronic individualism. And we have to pull our wealth, intelligence and efforts together to turn our Ibu into a first world region. 
right here and now. But this is the most difficult thing for us because we are individualists. It is easier to protest. <laughs> yes, it is either it is easier to protest really. The second point is our governors. As much as we don't like them, we have to work on them and with them. If I pub mobilizes the people against the governors, the same way it is mobilizing them against the federal government, you will see how fast things will change. What will the governors do? Start shooting their own people? If any governor does that, <laughs> where will the governor run to hide? Where will the governor hide from the people's revenge? They have nowhere to hide. That's the answer. Your state is your home, so they must listen to the people. If the people are united, an IPOB can unite the people because IPOB is very, very powerful. They must demand accountability from every elected officials in the Southeast. Demand that they invest in infrastructures. Roads, transportation, potable water, drainage system, housing, health, education, tax breaks for small businesses, regional economic integration. Constitute experts groups across every field from within and outside, even in diaspora, to, de to develop and advise on the framework for regional development. Instead of going to Abuja, the governors should come together, put money together from their budget and start building the second Niger Bridge. Yes, start dredging the river Niger to Onija. Start developing the dry port at Aba. Start now and make it mandatory that every South East governor prioritizes regional integration. Taxes and tariffs for business must come down to encourage investors. Computer village in Lagos is full of Igbos. E it will interest you to know. Yes, computer village in Lagos is full of Igbos. E the governors should put their monies together and build technology. They should build technology town in Aba. Follow up on Geometrics Power Project in Aba by Professor Bath Energy with a view to completely electrifying Alibu. Put their money together and elevate a Nugu airport to a level higher than Lagos or Abuja airport. Things like that. Developing the Owere Airport to a full international cargo airport and take advantage of the central location of Owere in the southeast. What is holding all this? Quality educational institutions are lacking in the southeast. Even though we constantly produce the highest number of applicants to universities. Let us build more collaboration with the diaspora. They are the best in many parts of the world. Let's harness this advantage. We need a world-class stock exchange in Alib. We can achieve that without the federal government because we own trading. Yes, we do. We own trading. Encourage our diaspora to work with the, food, with the federal government to establish and run quality world-class healthcare institutions in Alib. IPOB has already come up with a blueprint for an Igbo wide democratic customary government. The people's government that is republican in nature. This is good. This is power. Ironically, it might even be according to the Nigerian constitution. Now, if peacefully achieved, this can be 
the leverage with which to control the elected executive and legislators if Nigeria stays together. If Nigeria falls apart, then automatically we already have a framework, a framework state in operation. However, IPOB itself must win Igbo people over by championing their welfare with their own governors and officials. Threaten them with no re-election re and criminal prosecution if they fail to serve their people. They must also encourage the training, standardize, standardization, integration and sharing of information by the different state security groups to stamp out crimes like robbery, kidnapping, human trafficking, uh, and other social vices. We are Igbos, we are in the communities, and we know those who are into crime. People must start explaining their sources of wealth. That is the bone of contention. IPOB can utilize this opportunity, ensuring that um, crime is wiped out and govern uh, good governance entrenched in Southeast. Then, IPOB and Nam Dekano would ever be remembered kindly by history. If we are doing things like this, Arewa youths will not issue quick notice to Ndibu. Ndibu will come back in droves to build up Alibu. Is it beyond the Ibu to venture into modern and very lucrative cattle rearing and be the leaders in all of Africa? Are we not known? To come late into any any venture and excel beyond those in it for centuries. What are you saying? The governors in Alibu should, as a matter of urgency, introduce ranching across Alibu for prospective and enterprising Igbo cattle farmers. After which, they will enact, implement, and execute anti-open grazing laws in their states. Then. Call on all indigenous and state security groups to participate in monitoring its implementation. That's the way to go. This will empower all Ibus, and we will rid ourselves of these full and herdsmen in no time. This is priority. Every passing day is too much. Ekiti State did it. Benue State. Did, uh, Benue State has done it. It's not impossible. It's possible. Why can't the states of the South East do it as one? anti grazing law will shake the Nigerian government more than the referendum. IPOB has power. If they use it wisely, I bet you, they can bring out tremendous change in Alibu without a single bloodshed. They are uniquely positioned by God at this time, at this period in time, to use their massive followers and break the individualistic Igbo threat to bring about change that will positively shape Igbo history for generations. If Nigeria stays together, Ali will can become the most advanced region of Nigeria. If we start now, Tabubu. If Nigeria break up, breaks up, if Nigeria breaks up, we have to be ready to survive on our own. At this moment, we are not yet ready. This is where we need to put our eyes into because. The ball is already rolling. What we, ha what we want is for people to come and start investing in Alibu from all over the world. They will do this massively if they see the political will and infrastructures being laid down in Alibu. Of course, no man would want his uh, business. Of course, no man would want his business to collapse. If that happens, then everybody will protect Ibu land. Biafra will grow from within. 
let Nam Dekan, all Igbo leaders and thinkers, listen to this. Let's develop Ali Igbo from within. This is your favorite station, Njenji Media TV. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel.